Hey, in this final video, I'm going to show you how I set up my registration area. That's the only thing I haven't covered yet. Um, so typically what I do is I have a table, of course, where I sit. Um, and I usually have the laptop sitting in the middle or in the far, well, I guess in the middle of the, of the table. And then I have another table, either uh, one spot to the left or I've got one sitting. Uh, let's say the runners or are, are participants are coming in from the back side of the fence there. Um, and they come straight towards my my desk here I may have one sitting you know 30 feet 40 feet out that'll have the registration uh, forms on it uh, I probably have someone there collecting money um, or I have someone like I said again with the table sitting directly to my left someone collecting money at the far end and uh, passing the registration form the next person um, you know does something else or whatever and then what, what usually happens is uh, the person right before me uh, actually sorry two people before me they uh, they get the form and they give them a bib number, or I have the the person right next to me doing that. They they get the form from the person, make sure that everything's legible, specifically the name, the date of birth, uh, you know, all the critical information, uh, like to the, make sure they've marked their gender. Uh, because when I get my form here, that that person may already be gone. So if they didn't mark gender, obviously I, should, I can tell it by the name probably, but uh, I need to know, for example, if they don't mark Walker or Runner. Um, then that's something I'll, I don't, you know, I'll just have to default to put him as a runner. But, uh, so the person right to my left, they, they get the form and make sure everything's legible. They hand that person a bib. Uh, I've got a stack of bibs here. They hand that person a bib and on the registration forms that, that are made by my program, um, or you can use any registration form, but I have them write the bib number somewhere that's in the same spot every time so I know where to look. For example, in my program, the registration form on the top right corner has got a spot to write the bib number. So by the time it comes to me, they set it on my left side. I take you know one off the top, I type it in, and then I put it you know on my right with something on top of it to help keep the wind from blowing it away. And so I'll just kind of cycle through uh, you know registering people, and I don't have to worry about trying to talk with people because you know in this area uh, you know or wherever you're at, you probably have friends that are running or whoever they want to chat for a while and you start getting line backed up but uh so in the beginning when there's uh, very few registering let's say an hour and a half or an hour before the race uh, i'll go ahead and just for the heck of it i'll type in everything on the registration form which means they're uh, even the non-essential stuff like their email address and and other things because you know in the program i've got the mass email feature to where you can send like a thank you uh email out to everyone thanks for participating here's where you can find the results or or whatever uh, and so I like to type in as much as I can. Uh, but if you start getting to where it's getting busy, uh, only type in the required information, which is like bib number, name, gender, and what type of runner they are, runner or walker, um, or what type of athlete they are. And so you can do that within just a couple of seconds and then move on to the next. Um, so even at really large races where I've got hundreds and hundreds of participants, I don't ever have more than you know four or five people backed up. So, uh, But that's how I usually do the registration area um, I guess that's pretty much it so I have a table here and a table to my left or further out and then once they fill out the registration form and do all that stuff there the athlete himself comes and brings it or a volunteer does um, so the typically though I have a table sitting to my left uh, just directly connected pretty much to this table and they start off the athlete comes to the far left and then works their way to the right uh, I'm sorry It'll be their right, they start off, but then they work their way to their left, which would be our right. Um, so anyways, uh, and then for the pre-registration table, usually that's sitting off somewhere over to the far right or somewhere else. Um, with the RFID system, you can actually pull up the program and have it, there's a screen where you can actually uh, write to tags. Uh, on that screen, it'll, it'll show any tags that come into the field of view. I usually recommend having the TR200 with the... Uh, with the bumblebee antenna attached um, and then as you hand them their goodie bag you kind of pass it over that TR200 and it'll tell you to make sure that hey they do have the right chip and so, uh, so that's a pretty cool little system there and of course as we've seen in a previous video you can turn around take that TR200 attach it to the large antenna and then now it works as a finish line reader too so and like I said you have two chip timing systems um, so in case one goes down, the other one picks up. So pretty, pretty neat. Um, but that's usually how I set up my finish line area. Uh, if you got any questions, just feel free to shoot me an email, agracetiming at gmail.com. 
and uh, hope you found these videos informative.